Eastern European men specifically, we are uh, we have it hard because we have an inbuilt handicap, right? Eastern European men, we are unable to properly express emotions. So I was doing a show in Poland, and at the break, this Polish guy comes up to me and he says, Hey, you know, uh, your show today, very okay. <laughs> your show today, very okay. I was like, uh, thank you, man, but that is not how you use very. It's either very good or very bad. No, 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 your show today, very okay. Very okay. Actually, your show today is so very okay that I will wait until the end when everybody leave and I will stay and I will help you fold these chairs <laughs> and put them away. Because that is how Eastern European men show emotion for <laughs> Eastern European men. For a metaphor of manual labor. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you very much for the offer, man, but I don't work here, okay? <laughs> no, 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 you don't understand. I will wait until the end of the show and you and me, we are going to fold these chairs together. <laughs> Understand? Whoa. Sounds like a threat. <laughs> so you see, I spent 30 minutes at the end of my show in Poland folding chairs with this random Polish guy. <laughs> because my show, very okay. <laughs> I've tempered down my drinking because you see, I am a sad drunk. I'm a sad drunk, right? Anyone else here a sad drunk? The Polish person, yes. <laughs> But you see, I have a lot of American friends, and most of my American friends, they're a special kind of drunk. Most of my American friends, they are the motivational speaker drunk. <laughs> Whenever they get drunk, they start giving me the speech. Hey, Dragos, man. Dragos, it doesn't matter, man, if you're from Romania. It doesn't matter, Dragos, if you're from Eastern Europe. Dragos, in life, if you work hard, and if you study hard, if you work hard, and if you study hard, Dragos, then you can have your cake and eat it, too. <laughs> have my cake and eat it, too. See, my American friend, you see, this is where ideologies clash, where you see, in order for me to have my cake, I need to die. <laughs> so you see, my American friend, I can only have your cake. <laughs> But you see, I am no stranger to the motivational speaker drunk. For as it happens, my grandpa used to be a motivational speaker drunk. My grandpa was an Eastern European Romanian motivational speaker drunk. And motivations are rather different in Eastern Europe, right? So when my grandpa would get drunk, his speech would be a drago. In life, you have to work hard, you have to study hard. And if you work hard, and if you study hard, drago, then you can have whores. <laughs> I can have a horse? No, no, not horse. But horse. Oh, um, okay, Grandpa, I'm six. But I will do my best to get to this horse. Everybody's running away from the Eastern European identity. Everyone. When I was in Estonia, the Estonians were like, Oh, in Estonia, we are the Nordics. <laughs> the Polish people, no, no, we are Central Europe. I even went to Serbia. And I was like, guys, Romania, Serbia, come on, Eastern Europe, yeah? And the Serbian response was like, uh, actually, in Serbia, we are West Balkans. <laughs> West Balkans? What the fuck is a West Balkans? <laughs> Guys, stop making your own alcohol, okay? <laughs> This is what's happening, man. Everybody's running away. Everybody's running away from the Eastern European identity, from the Eastern European label. What am I supposed to do? I am from the east of Romania. <laughs> but that's fine, because I thought about it long and hard, and I would like to announce that I'm currently working with the governments of Eastern Europe on a rebranding project. <laughs> we figured it out. We're rebranding to West Asia. <laughs> Everybody's running away from the Eastern European identity, man. Everybody's running away, but you can't trick me. Let me tell you how to identify the Eastern Europeans. It's very easy. All you have to do is look into the eyes of the person next to you and see if they have that thing at the back of their eyes. That thing that all Eastern Europeans have. See if it's there at the back of their eyes. That, that forever sadness. <laughs> doesn't matter how far you've made it. Doesn't matter how great life is. It's always there, lingering, right? You don't believe me? Look at the most famous Eastern European of all. Look at Melania Trump. You can always see the sadness in her eyes. Doesn't matter how far she's made it, doesn't matter how white the house is. It's always there. You know, if you look at her, she's telling you with her eyes, 
I know that you might think I've won, but as an Eastern European, even when I win, I lose. <laughs> So I recently went back to Romania and my, uh, my high school friend is now uh, 31 and he has a six-year-old and I see the six-year-old go to my friend and say Daddy, Daddy, when I grow up, I want to be an astronaut. And my friend turns to him and says, okay, but what about bus driver? <laughs> More chairs, less space. <laughs> How long have you been here for doing this? Four years. Four years, okay, very good. And you like it here? Yeah. <laughs> You studied physics in Serbia? Yes. Nice, how was that? Good. Good, okay, very good yeah. physics teachers there? Yes. Not too much, <laughs> not too much of a practice, you know, like, uh, not, not too many fancy labs. Okay. Too expensive, right? Too expensive, okay. No, but... You have, uh, like, homemade labs? Uh, <laughs> You're going to spray the in my basement. <laughs> <That's okay. laughs> what, is, what area are you working in? Let's say it's for uh, information security, Let's eventually. <laughs> <laughs> welcome, welcome. You came here for the comedy show, or you just happened to be around? For the drogas. For the drogas? <laughs> That's after the show, bro. Let me know. I got a guy who knows a guy who also sells cars. It's a very interesting situation. Where, where are you guys from? Dusseldorf. Dusseldorf, very nice. All right, we'll move in here. <laughs> your name? Yes. Yes? Yes. Yeah, so like, is that... Is that helpful in bed where the guys say yes? <laughs> yes? 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 Is it helpful, bro? Uh, about myself. Well, I was born in Sweden, but uh, I was raised in Spain because when I was 10 years old... Um, so, you, so you're a Spanish Swede? Yes. One would think you'd be better looking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would assume as well. Like, my parents did some mistakes there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I don't know what, what's... I think it's just uh, my... Uh, they gave me allergies and crooked teeth, so first I thought I was British, you nice. know, but yeah. yeah but... So wait, your, your mom is Swedish or who's Swedish? Uh, my mom is Swedish, so she's nice. like 1 meter 76. And oh, really? My, and my dad is 1 meter 63, so it's, it's a really... Really? Yeah. Yeah, my dad, I don't know, he must... Oh, this guy fucks. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But then I saw him naked, I was like, no, that's not it. That's so, not it? Okay. No, like he, but I think he has just general swag. The confidence. That, yeah, that he did not, I did not inherit it. Right. When you're 163, you have to have confidence. Yeah. Like, and I wow. saw some pictures, like my mom, like I saw some pictures when she was young and like, I don't want to be that guy, but like she, she was hot. She's babe. Yeah, yeah. She, I'll be like, damn. And and then I saw some other girlfriends from my dad, and they were even hotter. And I was like, really? Yeah. And, and but apparently he was like this disco dancer, and he had like even like this uh, world record of like dancing for I think it was like 36 hours straight. Really? Yeah. Oh, they 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 went for the stamina. Yeah, yeah. for yeah. sure. For sure. Like this guy can move his hips for 36 hours straight. And I mean, <laughs> now, he was a very well. He still is like a very unique dude. He's like the the, the way I describe my dad is like he has the, the biggest heart and the best intention in the world. Right. But like the smallest brain. Really? Yes. Yeah. So he, he makes all decisions based on emotions, which, you know, is never a good Very idea. Latino. Yeah, very, extremely Latino. Hey guys, how's it going? This is Dragush, uh, straight from the stage. Wanted to thank you all for watching this video. If you guys did enjoy the video, please do subscribe, like and comment. And also watch some of my other videos. I've got a bunch of videos throughout this whole channel. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you and see you in the next one.